Hi, I'm Keith Freeman, owner of Freeman Homestead Farm. I've been farming officially since 1997, so almost 20 years. I've been around animals for longer and I've uh, raised animals for our own family for longer than that. But in 1997 was when I decided to be a full-time farmer and that was the beginning of my farm venture. The main reason I became a farmer is because it's what I love doing. It's who I am. It's not just what I want to do, it's uh, inside uh, who I want to be. There are a variety of things that are uh, rewarding about working with the animals. Uh, I like the interaction. They each have their own personality. Um, I like being able to train them and having them come when I call. I like moving them to fresh spots in the pasture in the summer when I have them out in the pasture grass. I like the variety of animals and the diversity with the animals, having a cattle and sheep and chickens. The cows play a very significant part in the operation of the farm. Because of the weight of the cows and the size of their hooves, they're very good for uh, tramping some of the organic matter into the soil. Also for the seeds, uh, grass seeds that are um, exposed and ready to be put into the soil, the hoof action of the cattle is very good for making good seed to soil contact. The manure of the cattle has different qualities than the sheep manure, which is different than the uh, chicken manure. And it's very important. It's excellent and very good for the health of the soil. That's the nutrients, the, the fertilizer for the soil. I have two different breeds of sheep. I have some Icelandic sheep and also some horned Dorset sheep. Um, some of the differences would be the types of wool. The wool on the Dorset sheep is a little coarser. The Icelandic sheep wool seems to be a little finer and uh, uh, nicer for uh, articles that would be in contact with the skin. Uh, the personalities are different of the two types of sheep, but in general, they're still sheep. They love to forage, they love to graze, and uh, I enjoy have, just seeing them when they're out on pasture. The type of chickens that I uh, choose to have are Partridge Rock. They're a dual purpose breed. They're good for meat and for eggs. They're kind of scavengers in some ways. They'll go around behind the cows and the sheep and uh, they'll just pick whatever little bugs or insects, uh, whatever they want. Plus they forage grass as well. And it makes for a very high quality egg uh, having the chickens. So I like the diversity, I like the variety. I like the holistic aspect of the three species working together. Uh, as far as the farm products go for my customers and also for the, um, for the health of the soil and the enhancement of the land. One of the uh, greatest challenges I think in, in keeping animals is the, the discipline of being there for whatever needs they have. Uh, it's every day, uh, in the morning, in the afternoon, the feeding of them and watering of them. But it's not just the mechanics of feeding and watering, it's the care of them. Being in tune with what their needs are and watching them and taking note of what they really need. Does one have a sore foot? Are they thirsty? Do they need more minerals? Do they need to be moved? Uh, just uh, learning how to communicate with them or listening to their method of communication without them being able to speak to me in human terms. In music there's artistry and in farming there's artistry. I can view the land as like my large canvas and I'm transforming it somewhat into what I picture in my mind by having the animals on the pastures and seeing the, the colors of the greens and the, the blue sky, the water, the interaction of animals and the environment is all part of the uh, artistry of it as well. The, the biggest thing that makes my farm different than all the other farms in the whole world is it's where I work and it's where I am and it's where I love to be.